Hey Comcare Builders, Kevin here again, Senior Product Analyst at Tamagi. This is the fourth video in our onboarding series. In this video, we'll test the application that we've built over the past three videos. Then, once we see what's missing, we'll add some logic. Let's use the App Preview tool to flip through our forms and test how the app works. Look, we have a caseless folder named Pregnancy ready for us to jump into. First, we'll begin by registering a pregnant woman. For now, let's create an imaginary woman named Sarah. You will notice that while we answer no to has the woman given birth to any children that are still alive, we are still able to add the number of living children. That might be confusing for our app user. I'm also noticing that we can put very large numbers for the number of living children. What if a user means to put 1 and they accidentally put 111? Luckily, we can fix these issues by adding logic to the form. First, we need to navigate to the logic section of our registration form. On the first question in the question tree, click on the three bar icon next to the delete button. Now toggle to open logic properties. The logic section has three parts display or skip logic, validation conditions, and default values. Display condition or skip logic is where we determine when a question should be displayed. For example, in our form, the question how many living children should not be displayed if the woman answered that she has not given birth to any children. Don't worry, we'll fix that. The validation condition is where we can limit the acceptable answers to a question. For example, if we are asking how many children the woman has, we might not want the mobile user to accidentally put 50 instead of 5, so we can put a reasonable limit on this. Finally, the default value is where you can specify a particular value to show up when the form is open. Don't worry about this for now. It is good practice to make questions required if we are confident everyone should be able to answer them. This prevents a mobile worker from accidentally skipping questions. Let's make the woman's name required. Next, we want to put a display condition on the question of how many living children because this question should only be shown if the woman answered yes, she has given birth before. For a question that you only want to show for certain circumstances, you need to add a display condition. Navigate to the question, how many living children, and find display condition under logic properties. Click on the edit button on the right side. This will open the expression editor. Let's think through what we have to do here. We only want to show this question if the answer to living children is yes. Click on the question, has the woman given birth to children that are still alive, in the question tree, and drag it over to the box on the left. You will see a green check mark when we are hovering over it. When we let go, you will see that Comcare has created a blue reference in the box. Right now there is an error because the expression is incomplete. We need to specify what we want the answer to be. You can use the same method as before. Grab the answer yes and drag it into the box on the right. You'll see a green check because our expression is now complete. Remember to click Save. Back on the main screen, we will see that Comcare is now showing the complete expression. Great work! Now we're ready for a validation condition. Our goal here is to put a validation condition that prevents the user from writing a number higher than 15 for the number of living children. So we want the answer to number living children to be less than or equal to 15. Go to the question and click on the Edit button next to Validation condition. Drag the question, number living children, over to the left side of the expression. When we refer to the same question we are working in, Comcare just puts a nice little period in the box, so it should look like this. Now, to continue our expression, change the middle drop-down menu to less than or equal to, and then just write 15 directly in the second box. Hit save to see the expression on the main page. It is good practice whenever we make a validation condition to make a message that explains the condition. This way the mobile user can understand what went wrong and how to correct the error. Don't forget to save our changes. Now let's test this form in the app preview. This time we will get to see how helpful it can be to make sure validation conditions and display conditions are correct. Looks good. Let's go back into our pregnancy case list and start a home visit. You will notice now that we have registered Sarah, she comes up as one of our cases. 
Here you will notice that the first follow-up question references Sarah being sick, even though we did not say she was feeling sick in our registration form. That is because we didn't properly start connecting our forms with case management. Let's fix that quickly. To begin, let's go back into our home visit form. You can see our app properties on the left. This is where we will reference case properties within a form. Here you can see all the properties we previously saved. We can drag and drop them, and for each property we can imagine that it contains the value provided by the last form that updated that particular property. Drag the case property, is the woman feeling sick, from the case properties window over to the left part of the expression. On the right side of the expression, type yes. Make sure to always include quotes. We are doing this because we only want this follow-up question to appear if the woman said yes to feeling sick in our registration form. Okay, let's test again. Now, when we register the pregnant woman, let's indicate she is feeling well. With this change, when we follow up, that first question does not appear. Nice work. Congratulations, you just added logic to your first ComCare application. I hope you're as excited as we are, because in the next video, we'll teach you how to publish an application so they can be used by frontline workers. Well, since you made it this far, it's time for your Damagi fun fact. Here at Damagi, we process over 12 million forms a month. That's over four forms a second. That's a lot of data.